The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater here, where it's a brand new, fresh Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to also check out my last video because that greatly helps out the channel. Now let's get into it. So apparently John Boyega was recently interviewed and his issues with the uh, Disney-led Star Wars franchise was brought up into topic. He previously voiced his frustration with Lucasfilm at one point, specifically noting they gave all the nuance to Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley, but not his own character Finn. Of course, that's far from the only thing the actor has said on the record. But in an Instagram post, John Bega also commented, LOL, no thank you. In response to a commenter who suggested another appearance in Star Wars, even further declaring that he's moved on. His comments eventually drew the attention of the head of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy. And also, according to Boyega, the two had a really nice, transparent, honest conversation where she verbally showed support. That's nice and all, but as nice as it sounds, does this increase the chances that John may return for his role of Finn at any point in the future? Only time will tell. But on Off Topic and another interview during a Sirius XM, Tell Me Everything with John Fuglesland, he commented on the possibility that he would return to the franchise in the future as his character Finn and his experience facing racism while working on the sequel trilogy. He went on to say, I think Finn is at a good confirmation point where you can just enjoy him and other things, the games, animations, but I feel like episodes eight and nine was good for me. Also, when the topic of Moses Ingram came up and how Ewan McGregor came to her support, John noted how the incident made him feel protected and that when he started, it wasn't really as a conversation you could bring up. He went on to say, Moses Ingram being protected makes me feel protected. Do you understand what I'm saying? It makes me feel like, okay, cool. I'm not the elephant in the room. Because when I started, it wasn't really a conversation you could bring up. You know, how they went through it. It was like, it was kind of like, let's just be silent. It wasn't a conversation you could bring up. But now to see how blatant it is, to see you and McGregor come to support for me, it fulfills my time where I didn't get any support. And if you guys remember back in 2015 when he first got casted, and also since he was the first thing in person that you saw in the first trailer for The Force Awakens, there was a lot of controversy with the fact that it was a black character as the main character as we knew it at back then and if you guys also remember there was a lot of controversy with that he continues saying that for him to see other people accepted and seeing the studio realize that they need to support their black client was fulfilling in his own right it doesn't make me feel bitter at all it makes me feel like sometimes you are that guy my dad taught me that sometimes you are not that guy to get the blessing and sometimes you are moses you know, you lead people to the mountain, but you don't see the destination. You don't get to go in, you get others to go in. And that's where you get your happiness from. But for me to see the other people accepted, and then at the same time to see the studios now like, okay, cool, this is not an elephant in the room conversation. We need to support our black client. It's fantastic. Then when asked directly if he would ever want to play the character again, Boyega responded, at this point, I'm cool off it. I'm good off of it. Understandably so with everything he's been through, but this is just how he feels right now at the moment. Episodes seven, eight, nine are still fresh. And then who knows how he could feel later down the line. So reading all this and going over his interview, is John Boyega really done? So far, it seems he's really over the franchise. Well, a Finn spinoff project has been rumored in the past, given these vibrant and continued comments from Boyega himself. The odds of Finn's return in the franchise or John being involved in anything don't look great right now. And what do I think about this? Understandably so. Honestly, being 100% honest, if I was in his shoes, I would feel the same way. You're being put in a big project where you're one of the three main leads studio who you're working for is not really backing you when you're going against all this trash and hate in the community. I can understand why he, he would feel so. And then to have his character misled in the trailers to be just delegated to running after Ray screaming her name for two movies straight. I would totally understand why he feels like he doesn't really want to do anything, why he doesn't really want to do anything with the franchise. Even Oscar Isaacs 
kind of voice that gives the opinion that he probably wouldn't run in return. Daisy Ridley is like, obviously like kind of a maybe. I think she's really saying that just because she, out of the three actors, hasn't really done anything too big just yet. John Boyega and also, and obviously Oscar Isaacs are on the up and up with their own film companies and new Disney shows. Like I said, only time will tell. Time does mend all wounds and you know, it might be like a Harrison Ford situation. Back in the 80s after Return to Jedi, Harrison Ford was pretty much done with Star Wars. All he really wanted to do was continue on with Indiana Jones because he really liked it. Flash forward 30 years later, and when Disney cut him a big check for Episode 7 of Force Awakens, he was back with the quickness. So who knows? Money talks, and like I said, time heals all wounds. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this excerpt and this interview from John Boyega and his comments on the whole matter. Do you think he's valid in this? Do you feel the same? Do you think he should just stay away from the franchise? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.